Good afternoon. My name is Rian Ro, and today I'll be presenting why we should play music and the tremendous and powerful benefits it can give you. When I came from the Netherlands to Korea four years ago, I felt left deserted alone in a whole new world where everything was totally new and unfamiliar. As being a student, the difference between the school and the curriculum gave me big difficulties to adapt in the new environment. When I was in the Netherlands, I went to an international school, which had students with diverse nationalities, making it possible to experience and learn different cultures. Also, the school's curriculum was activity-based, making everyday school days interesting and exciting. But here in Korea, the standardized education and academic-focused curricula had no attraction for me. And on top of this, my Korean was not fluent, which made it even more difficult for me to focus on my studies. Eventually, I lost confidence. I was always fatigued, I felt lonely, and I was totally stressed out. One day, I stumbled across a book called Who Was Einstein? Einstein, who is still the most influential scientist in the book, no, in the, <coughs> who is still the most influential scientist in human history. In the book, it wrote, when Einstein was five years old, his mother started him on violin lessons. At first, Einstein hated playing the violin, just as we hate to solve math problems. But when Einstein was 13, he heard the music of Mozart and changed his mind about the violin. With a new passion of playing, Einstein continued to play the violin until the last few years of his life. He was so much in love with his violin that he even named it Lena and said that the most joy in his life had come from, from playing the violin. By inspiration and curiosity, I decided to start playing the violin as he did. In the beginning, I regretted my decision because it was quite tough for me to do all the things at the same time. But spending several months playing the instrument, I got pretty used to it. After a year or so, I found myself enjoying playing the violin and noticeable changes had occurred to me. When playing the violin, I didn't feel any negative feelings. It became my happiness maker. Also, I found myself catching up with my studies, making a bunch of friends at school, and most of all, gaining confidence once again. How did this all happen? I came down to one ultimate reason. That was playing music. Playing music can help us first to control inhibition, second, to expand our memory, and last but not least, it can lengthen the amount of time that we can focus on a specific activity. For example, when I play the violin, I have to figure out where to put my fingers to create a certain pitch. Then, my right hand will control the length by either pushing or pulling the bow, depending on that note. Simultaneously, I will also have to read music and determine which note I'm supposed to play. How loud, how fast, or how slow. These kinds of activities stimulate multiple parts of our brain, making almost every area of the brain engage and eventually developing it. This practice, when done constantly, will help us calm down, be patient, and relieve stress, recovering from mental damage. This is very important, especially for young students like us, because it will help us to focus during class, help to study and memorize effectively, and be calm during tests. Then, are long hours of practicing music the secret formula to unlocking the full potential of your brain? Even though I cannot promise you that you will become the next Einstein by playing a musical instrument, I can assure you that you have a better chance than not doing so. But then, is practicing music only benefiting the young people? The great news is that according to a recent research, 
anyone who plays the musical instrument, even if he or she starts at an old age, showed various kinds of increased brain functioning, which can prevent Alzheimer's disease and more. You don't have to be a prodigy or a genius like Beethoven or Mozart to experience the benefits of playing music. So I encourage you to ask yourself, how about playing just 30 minutes of music to exercise your brain and see all aspects of your life change tremendously? Thank you for listening.